Gruffydd AP Llywelyn died August 5, 1063 was the King of Wales from 1055 to 1063. He was the son of King Llywelyn AP Sizilan Angharad, daughter of Merdud of Olain. He was the great-great-grandson of Hywilda. Genealogy and Early Life Gruffydd was the son of Llywelyn AP Sizil, who had been able to rule both Gwynedd and Powys, and Angharad Firk Merdud. On Llywelyn's death in 1023, a member of the Aberfraw dynasty, Yagobad Will AP Murig, became ruler of Gwynedd and began his rise to power in Powys. King of Gwynedd in Powys 1039-1055 In 1039, King Yago of Gwynedd was killed supposedly by his own men and his son Sinan, who may have been as young as four, was forced into exile in Dublin. Gruffydd, who had already recovered Powys, expanded into the vacuum. Soon after gaining power, he surprised a Mercian army at Rhydy Groves near Welshpool and totally defeated it, killing Edwin, brother of the Leofric, Earl of Mercia. He then attacked Dyfed, which his father had ruled but was now under Highwell of Edwin. Gruff had defeated Highwell in the Battle of Penkinner 1041 and carried off Highwell's wife. Gruff had seems to have been able to drive Highwell out of the south, for in 1044 Highwell is recorded returning to the mouth of the River Tywi with a Danish fleet to try to reclaim his kingdom. Gruffid, however, defeated and killed him in a closely fought engagement. Dubious discuss. Gruffid AP Riddirk of Gwent was able to expel Gruffid AP Lywelyn from the Hubarth in 1047 and became king of the Hubarth himself after the nobles of Estrad Tywi had attacked and killed 140 of Gruffid AP Lywelyn's household guard. He was able to resist several attacks by Gruffid AP Lywelyn in the following years. Gruffid AP Lywelyn was active on the Welsh border in 1052 when he attacked Herefordshire and defeated a mixed force of Normans and English in the Battle of Lemonster. King of Wales 1055-1063 In 1055 Gruffydd AP Llywelyn killed his rival Gruffydd AP Riddirk in battle and recaptured de Hubarth. Gruffydd allied himself with Ulfgar, son of Leofric, Earl of Mercia, who had been deprived of his earldom of East Anglia by Harald Godwin's son and his brothers. They marched on Hereford and were opposed by a force led by the Earl of Hereford, Ralph the Timid. This force was mounted and armed in the Norman fashion, but on October 24 Gruffydd defeated it. He then sacked the city and destroyed its Maud and Bailey castle. Earl Harold was given the task of counter-attacking, and seems to have built a fortification at Longtown in Herefordshire before re-fortifying Hereford. Shortly afterwards Ulfgar was restored to his earldom and a peace treaty concluded. Around this time Gruffydd was also able to seize Morgan when Gwent, along with extensive territories along the border with England. In 1056, he won another victory over an English army near Glassbury. Now recognized as King of Wales, he claimed sovereignty over the whole of the country a claim which was recognized by the English. Historian John Davies stated that Gruffydd was the only Welsh king ever to rule over the entire territory of Wales. Thus, from about 1057 until his death in 1063, the whole of Wales recognized the kingship of Gruffydd A.P. Llywelyn. For about seven brief years, Wales was one, under one ruler, a feat with neither precedent nor successor. During this time, between 1053 and 1063, Wales lacked any internal strife and was at peace. Death and Aftermath Grump had reached an agreement with Edward the Confessor, but the death of his ally Ulfgar in 1062 left him more vulnerable. In late 1062 Harold Godwin's son obtained the king's approval for a surprise attack on Gruffydd's court at Rublin. Gruffydd was nearly captured but was warned in time to escape out to sea in one of his ships, though his other ships were destroyed. In the spring of 1063 Harold's brother Tostig led an army into North Wales while Harold led the fleet first to South Wales and then north to meet with his brother's army. Gruffydd was forced to take refuge in Snowdonia where he met his death. Gruffydd's head and the figurehead of his ship were sent to Harold. The Ulster Chronicle states that he was killed by Sinan in 1064, whose father Iago had been put to death by Gruffydd in 1039. Gruffydd had probably made enemies in the course of uniting Wales under his rule. According to Walter Mapp, Gruffydd said of this. Speak not of killing, I but blunt the horns of the offspring of Wales lest they should injure their dam. Following Gruffydd's death, Harold married his widow Eilgith, though she was to be widowed again three years later. Gruffydd's realm was divided again into the traditional kingdoms. Bled in APC YNF Wynan and his brother Rywallen came to an agreement with Harold and were given the rule of Gwynedd and Powys. Thus when Harold was defeated and killed at the Battle of Hastings in 1066, 
The Normans reaching the borders of Wales were confronted by the traditional kingdoms rather than a single king. Gruffydd left two sons who in 1069 challenged Bledon and Rywallan at the Battle of Machain in an attempt to win back part of their father's kingdom. However they were defeated, one being killed and the other dying of exposure after the battle. Family Gruffydd married Ealdgith, daughter of Earl Ofgar of Mercia after his abduction of, and marriage took, the unnamed wife of Hywel of Edwin in 1041. Gruffydd had at least three children, two sons called Merdud and Edwil who both died at the Battle of Machain in 1069, and a daughter called Nest Birch Gruffydd who married Osborne Fitzrichard of Richard's Castle. Their daughter Nest Firk Osborne aka Nestum of Hereford married Bernard de Nuthmark. Nest Birch Gruffydd also was married to Trahiarn A.P. Caradog before Osborne. They had seven children. He may have had another son Owain A.P. Gruffydd who died in 1059. 